looking forward to this interview all week and I have to say this chap is rather dapper in front of me and if you have a problem then this is a chap you want to talk to it is Marcel Lucon I'm trying to do this my best accent Marcel no you are definitely trying I am trying tell me you cannot deny that Marcel what a beautiful accent you could just talk for the next five minutes and I'll just listen Sure, if you like. Melt away with your beautiful voice. Tell me about your show. You are apparently the agony uncle here at the festival. Not so much. That kind of uh, implies that I am giving a solution to person's uh, problems in life. Not really. I'm just hearing them. I give very little solutions in the show. Like what kind of a problem? Give me an idea of the kind of problems you get. Well, the wine list is uh, uh, in two, three parts, actually. Uh, first part involves work issues that person in the audience will have. Uh, second is uh, amorous issues. Okay, oh, I love the way you say that third. again. Amorous. Amorous so, issues. Oh, love issues. I love the way you say that. Beautiful. One Scottish man the other night, uh, in reply to this question, simply asked, what is amorous? He did not even understand the question. Sometimes they just write themselves. <laughs> These people should not be at your show, Marcel. I would agree with you, but I have his money now. <laughs> yes, you have with his money. And the and third, the third part, yeah. is the travel, is the overseas wines, the imported wines from experiences overseas that they have had. So work, sex and travel. And really, it's just to hear bad stories from person. As I say, there is no solution I am offering at all. It's like a group therapy session, but with everybody probably living more depressed. <laughs> Is that your aim, to, to make them more depressed? It's not my aim, but uh, there is very little I can do to help some persons. Okay, so if Especially I... Especially if you don't know what amorous means. Is it okay. Have you ever had anyone just walk out of your show where they've thought, I'm even more depressed, so I can't take this anymore? Uh, well, actually, the setup of the venue, the door is right by the stage, so I would have seen it by now. Not yet, but the festival is uh, quite short so far. Of course, but you're just getting into the swing of things. How are you finding people in Scotland? Fascinating. Go on. Truly really fascinating. In what way? Well, some of the bizarre ones we have had. Um, one night, a Scottish man, his worst day at work was crashing his taxi into the wall of his passenger's house, straight through the wall. I asked the man, did uh, the passenger uh, complain? He says, no, he, he was fine with it. <laughs> Normal, he's, I don't know, it's uh, bizarre. You know, oh, well, I have three more walls left. You know, I, very nonchalant uh, attitude. Do you ever give... On both parties, actually. Do you ever give anyone, and these are genuine stories, so yeah, this story is the, another uh, four nights ago, a woman, uh, worst amorous encounter, her wedding, her own wedding, and I think maybe uh, it's a jest, it's a joke, you know, I know. Apparently this is true, she aborted her wedding immediately due to bad omens on the day. The worst of which was seeing a future ghost of her own self at the back of the church. No way. Uh, absolutely true. Can, Canadian woman, this one. Marcel, where do you really find these people? Do these people actually seek you out to contact you? They come to me, which concerns me in some way, but uh, they rarely follow me from the shows. Okay. We all go our separate ways, so all is okay. At the end of a show, though, you must get some people wanting to come and talk to you to get that one-to-one, -one. I need some advice, I need you to I need to offload, I need to tell you what my problem is. Do you get that? Not stalking you, but people actually wanting that one-to-one -one Marcel on his own. Sure, I tell them it will cost extra <laughs> for that. That's uh, once the show is over. Uh, it depends on the problem, the length of time. I have um, differing fees uh, depending on... Uh, uh, various factors. So you're quite happy to do one-to-one -one consultations? Sure, I'm happy to do this, of course. Okay, tell me before we finally plug the show, what is the strangest, this is Portal putting you on the spot here, the strangest sure. piece of perhaps a problem that someone has shared with you looking for the Marcel piece of advice? You wish me to find a more strange one than a woman seeing a <laughs> ghost of her own future self. 
I think they're all very strange, but I actually figured that you would just be able to, that you must have had even stranger ones from your well, global experience, not necessarily from the festival. Oh, from, well, yeah. I've, yeah, I've done this show all over the planet. There was a woman in uh, Perth, Australia, who, uh, a doctor who uh, was there at work. She dropped a kidney on the floor. Still put it back in the patient, just <laughs> give it a little blow, <laughs> pop it back in. I ask, is there a three second rule for the kidney? Drop it, wait, and apparently yes. This is it's terrifying. She actually revealed her medical practice as well, which I assume now is under investigation. <laughs> These problems and more. And if you would like to share, then you can check out Marcel's show, which I'm right in saying uh, it is the wine list. That is W H I N E. And it is the Pleasant Dome. Pleasant Dome. Yes, yeah. So much nicer. Pleasant Dome. And it's at 9 30 every night. Exactly. Has it been a sellout so far? Exactly. Oh, my goodness. You're making the money then? Oh, of course, yeah. Does that put a smile on your face? Sure. I don't like to be so crass as to. Uh, you know, revel in capitalism, but uh, the money is being spent well, I can assure you that. Good, that's another show, and you are available for one-to-one sessions. Sure. At a price. <laughs> Thank you, Marcel, for popping in to see us. The pleasure is evident.